Hey guys, welcome back. Today we're going to do something a little bit different than my gold wing videos that you've normally seen for the last three videos. Today we're going to do a Volkswagen video. Unfortunately, it's come down to this, but we've got to pull this motor out, so we're not doing this for fun. There's actually something wrong in here. I don't know what it is yet, but we're going to have to pull that motor out and everything. So to figure out what went wrong. All I can tell you guys is that I was driving along and the thing started, boy did it, a loud bang went and then smoke went a flying and everything and that oil is burnt. So I'm afraid something inside the case. I've already looked underneath it. I couldn't see anything visibly. So I think it's something inside the engine. So we're gonna have to tear it open or at least, but for this purpose of this video, I am just going to show you how to remove a Volkswagen engine. It is real simple. Honestly, I've done this so many times. I've actually lost count. That's how many times I've had to work on this car, literally. But um, really, if you get really good at it, you can have it out in probably about 20 minutes. It's going to take me a little longer today because I'm shooting some videos so I can show you guys how to do this and everything. So, so let's get started. Okay, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to disconnect the battery. In case you don't know where that is, it's on the right, the passenger side underneath the, the back seat you just lift up the seat and then there's your battery then you just take off your battery it looks like i already did that now while i'm here i want to point out something if you're a new volkswagen owner or anything like this you see these little oh there we go underneath the seat these little metal pins and everything let's see i'm trying to find the one i had one of these break at one time little, yeah you can see how there's a little right here you can see how it's broke and everything what happened here is this thing broke and landed on the positive terminal here on the battery and cut the car on fire luckily I saved it just in time it just started smoking and it was just about ready to catch when I caught it luckily I was getting groceries out of the car at the time and I was able to pull the seat out and get it to stop so what I do sometimes is I put a big rubber mat in here which I have right here I don't know if you can see just a little rubber mat I put on top of the battery just so if anything nothing else will ever hit this thing ever again so if you're a Volkswagen owner that might be something you want to think about so just put a little mat over these terminals or something just to keep it from sparking all right now that we got done with that little safety tip we can move on to the next thing now that we got all the battery disconnected we can go ahead and disconnect our wiring harness and everything was down level on the ground so you're gonna to need to disconnect now I have electronic ignition system so I have a little bit more wire here than you guys do and everything and honestly I'm gonna recommend if you guys are a Volkswagen owner and still running points and thinking about going to the electronic ignition system do it's it's wonderful they're great I've never had too much problem out of them you know that when I had points in here the um, the rain the moisture was always affect this thing how it started sometimes it wouldn't start I'd have to take the cap off wipe it up I mean it's not a big deal but it got to be a nuisance after a while and everything never just can't hop right in and go so I went to electronic ignition system and I've never had a problem with this thing ever starting ever out of this sucker unit. It stays out in the rain or in the weather most of the time. So if you're definitely thinking it's a little expensive, but it's not too bad and everything. Now the modulars have to be replaced inside here. And I replaced a coil just recently and got a new resistor with it. But that wasn't too bad. I think that all cost me about 70 bucks, a little under 100 bucks, I think, total for everything. So that was a good deal and everything so also we're gonna disconnect this fuel line and our accelerator cable which is like a bicycle cable right there we'll undo it and it goes actually through the doghouse so we'll have to pull, when we get underneath it to take the starter out we'll pull it we'll have to pull this through so it goes all the way through and then we can take it apart our alternator right here our cables now before you start taking it apart what you might want to do just so you never forget is either make a diagram of where everything went all your wiring or take pictures because trust me, if you let it sit long enough and then try to come back, you may not remember where everything goes. If you just that got that good of a memory, good for you. Me, I'm going to take pictures because I'm. You know, it's going to probably be a few weeks before I get this thing back together, hopefully. Because I need to get this thing on the road and going. And when you get the wires done, the next thing you can take out, we can go ahead and take out this shield in here. This little trim shield. And these hoses, we don't need them in here. We can take them off. In fact, they're about ready to come off anyway these things never really do that good for anyway they never stay on 
So let me get that done and then we'll move on to the next. Step. Once all you get the wiring harness and the fuel lines out of the way, we are now ready to jack it up. We're gonna use a floor jack here to jack it up and the book says that you need to at least get it off 36 inches off the ground or three feet. And that's so that way when the thing comes down, the engine will clear and come out. Now, I don't think my jack is gonna get it up that high, so we're gonna get this thing up as high as we can get it. We may have to see horse sit up a little bit, kind of jack it up high, put a jack in, jack up the other side, and go back and jack it up and get up a little bit higher, as high as we can get it and everything, because it's gotta get up there pretty on high so we can get that motor out. Okay, so let me do that and we'll be right back. Okay, I wanted to point out real fast, but these Volkswagens come with a jack point here right here now if you got the um, spare tire kit with the crank and everything it will slide right into there and you can crank it right up no problem so this is a safe jack point that you can put your jack under it's probably the only spot I recommend back here to put your jack okay once we got the car jacked up we're ready to go underneath and the next thing that needs to be taken off is the starter now the starter is one of the mount bolts and everything and, and I, the two bottom bolts are easy to get to, but these two top bolts, they're all the way back in here. I don't, I'll have to get a light in here later and show y'all when I get ready to take them apart. But there's only four bolts that hold this engine in. Then we'll just have to put a jack underneath it, push her forward, and it should fall right out. You know, at least I say that. So let me right, get underneath there, get my fancy little creeper or cardboard over there, slide her underneath there and get that starter off. Okay guys, we're underneath the car here. I'm going to show you where the starter is. It's on the passenger side. you got two bolts here. The one there and the one on the other side. And then also, if you can look, you got your um, cable hooked up and one little lead here. Oh, now there it is. I messed up the light then. One lead right there. They don't need to be removed. And the starter will come right off. We also need to take off these heat ducts, one on each side. Now these are a little bit homemade because the um, ones you get from... Try to get it aftermarket or whatever they wanted an arm and a leg so i just went to home depot got some heater material here and made this and everything works pretty good works actually better than the originals anyway so let's get me get this starter off here yeah, there we go got one got a good start on it so let me get that done and we'll move along all right if you can see that shiny nut there on top that is one of the engine mount bolts also it's your top starter bolt Untake that and the starter will come off and you got one of your bolts undone. It is a 17 millimeter that will get it off and it's a tight fit. Once you get that top bolt loose, the starter should just pop right out. There she comes. Also, while you're down here, you should probably get these heater cables out. Let's see. There you go. These right there. These little cables. These are what controls your heat inside your Volkswagen. You're off and on, so it lets all the heat go into the cabin. And everything so you might have a little nut or a flathead either one just whatever barrel nut was used okay guys we're on the driver's side now if you can see right there there's our clutch cable right there with the big wing nut on it and if you can if you can look at that bolt that's sticking a little loose right there that is your other engine mount point that one just screws right in you can just take that one right out all right guys okay guys here's for our last two nuts right here these right here are your last two mounting bolts. And these are the bottoms. They're both 17 millimeters. Now, before you guys get to this point, you may want to check and double check everything to make sure everything's all loose. Now, when you take these two nuts out, it ain't gonna fall right out. The spline on the transmissions are gonna hold the engine in because you're gonna have to push it forward, but and everything. But these are the last two that hold it. And it's really all this simple. So I'm gonna take these loose and then we're gonna push this engine out. Okay guys, once you've made sure everything's disconnected, all your mounting bolts are disconnected, cables are disconnected, wires are disconnected, we're ready to actually get this thing out of here. There's nothing really to it. Now this right now, I'm using my low profile jack to give me some extra clearance. So when I'm bringing down, it'll be down just a little bit, but maybe just give me enough. All right, now the jack won't go up all the way. As you can see down there, I got a four by four. And it's not the greatest method, but it will work. I've done this many times like this. You just have to be super careful. It's better to have two people if you're gonna do this, but it's just me here. So what I'm gonna have to do is, first I'll break it free with these pipes. I'll wiggle it until you'll hear it, you'll hear it, you'll feel it come free. And then you'll have to put your arm on the motor to keep it straight. 
and then slowly lower it down and you're gonna have to move this thing a little bit forward to get clearance and slowly lower it down now once it gets down to the ground you might have to walk it out a little bit get it off the jack and then kind of walk it out it'll be okay it won't hurt anything to slowly walk it out and everything so just make sure for god's sake just do not drop this motor so that's why i'm gonna have to use both hands and i won't be able to film this part of it but i'll show you guys when it gets on the ground and how to get it out and everything all right guys we got it down you just kind of got to walk it a little bit forward bring it forward drop it down wiggle it a little more and make sure it doesn't get caught up on the transaxle down in there and once it's free it's good now i'm gonna have to get it off the um the four x four and see if i can get it on the jack and see if we can slide it out real easy okay that's what i was talking about earlier about not getting it up high enough as you can see we just about got it up high enough but i forgot to take those little little things off there at the um carburetor which i should have done but that's okay what i'm going to do is i'm going to tilt it back a little bit and slide it till it gets past it and it should just scoot on by this engine's pretty light i can pick it up by the exhaust pipe and just slowly walk her out and she'll do just fine you know what, next time I'm going to take that little carburetor plate off. That was a little of a hassle. I had to really lean it back to get it out. Alright, but that's it, guys. That's how you pull that motor out of a Volkswagen. It's nothing hard. It's not hard. One bit. It's real easy. Now, the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to set on this motorcycle jack here so I can roll it around. And later in the week, I'll put it up on the engine stand. And then I'm going to have to clean off my workbench table over here. So I can have it clean, a clean spot to tear the engine down. And see what went wrong. I still don't see anything visible. I don't see anything. So it's got to be on the inside of the engine. That's what I'm bet banking on there. So we'll have to tear that apart and see what went wrong. I'll probably do a short video once I find the problem so you guys will know. Because I'm about as curious as anyone what the problem is with this engine. Anyway. Well guys. We're going to end it off there. I think today. I've got to get this um, garage all clean up. My wife will be home and I still got to cook dinner. Or at least for myself anyway so if you like this video or thought it was helpful please give it a big thumbs up and everything if you like to see more of these type of videos of Volkswagens gold wings garage stuff you know tools you know subscribe to the channel we hit a lot of this stuff right now we're gonna be on a Volkswagen kick for a little bit although I do have some gold wing stuff as planned but I already have I think I might have shown you I'm gonna put a um, a little charging indicator on this to show me how much my alternator is done it's not a little gauge it's a little light indicator i'm thinking about putting that on next i don't know yet we'll have to get right now i need to get this thing kind of moving along this project moved out the door so we'll probably work on this one but that will be one of the next things that i'll get on the gold wing there and everything guys so it's been fun until next time guys stay safe out there